Hi, I'm Chris Scorse, President and CEO of CircuitCheck. We wanted to take some time today to walk through the process from concept to completion of building an integrated test system. We have a wide variety of customers that come to us seeking assistance. At one end of the spectrum, we have those who know exactly what they want to test, how they want to test it, and they've even designed and built the test systems. They just need us to build a few additional systems. At the other end are the customers who know that they need to test something, but don't have the information, the bandwidth, or the experience to develop what is needed. It's the latter case that we'll cover, as it allows us to walk through the entire process. Whether you're working for an internal customer or an external customer similar to CircuitCheck, the process for a test engineering team is very similar. One thing that you learn quickly with test system development is that taking the time up front to make sure that there is alignment on the goal is critically important to a successful result. As the saying goes, if you don't have time to do it right, you sure as heck don't have time to do it twice. For situations where the system definition is not yet developed, we begin with what we call a specification phase. There are several key items that must be determined during this exercise. The first of these is the intended use specification. This defines the high-level requirements, such as test coverage, environmental considerations, required throughput, ergonomic concerns, degree of automation, and software platform selection. The next item is the test requirement specification. It's at this point that we dive into the details. What specifically will be tested? How many measurements need to be made? What are the test limits? What are the precision and accuracy levels that are needed? Test sequencing? Is parallel testing required? Connectivity to the device under test? Once these items are agreed upon, then we'll move into the system design plan. At this point, we put together an overview of the system form factor. The interface test adapter is important. How do we actually connect to the device under test? The test equipment that is required? The software framework that we'll use? So thank you for watching this video series that we put together with National Instruments on designing and building a test system. Should you have any questions or if there's any way that we can help you, please reach out to us at circuitcheck.com.